Hello everyone, this is Evan from Anino Reviews, and this is my review of my ancient laptop. It is an original Dell XPS, and yes, it is only XPS. There is no number, it's literally just Dell XPS. It's not 15, not 15Z, it's just XPS. Which, and I believe they made very few of these. I have only been able to find one other person on the internet who has one. And theirs have been having the same problem as mine, which is the, if I can focus this, the headphone jack right there is actually messed with, oh god, this thing's about 15 pounds, by the fan here. And this thing has four fans, I believe. It's either three or four. One, two, three, and there might be a fourth one here, but I'm not sure. I've heard sounds there, but I'm not sure if it's a fan or not. Um, this computer is from 2002, but for its time, it was amazing. 2 gigs of RAM, 256 megabytes of graphics memory, uh, higher than 1080p display. This, it has the same width as 1080p, which is 1920, but its height is not 1080, it's 1200, so it's higher than 1080. This computer had a nice keyboard with a little nub in the middle. Touchpad, all that. Um, what really amazed me is the screen. For that time, to be able to push that many pixels was astounding. But back to this. This computer is made of steel, uh, stainless steel, I believe, on the top. The rest is all plastic. And even though it may look like this right here is a dock, that's just to make it look thinner. It truly is part of the computer. Um, so that little dot you see in the front, you might be able to see that, is an infrared transceiver. Back in 2002, infrared was very common, especially for pocket PC and palm devices. Um, and also, this thing is a full-blown desktop in laptop form. It has a desktop Pentium 4 hyper-threading CPU at, I think, 3 gigahertz dual core, which for the time was really good. Um, has three fans to keep it cool. This thing is really hard to pick up with one hand, sorry. It has a fair amount of ports. It has DVI, which was rare at the time, VGA, which is standard, and S-Video, which was standard. It has a, obviously, a port for power. It has five USB ports, gigabit Ethernet, which was also rare at the time, and your normal dial-up port. These are the two fan slots over here and here. And this is the third fan slot that cools off the GPU. Um, over here is the DVD rewritable drive, which was advanced. Um, the headphone jack, the 1394 port, and I forget what this is. I think it's a PCI slot of some sort. Um, it's for expansion cards. Um, on this side, there isn't anything. And then if I flip it over to the bottom, um, there's this battery, which is, okay, here, I'm going to have to put the phone down. Oh, God, this is difficult. The battery is absolutely huge. And here's the port it's in. Um, what can I find? Uh, no, there's nothing for me to compare. So here's a normal Dell charger put down there. It's pretty big battery. Um, this one's losing the end of its life. It has about 30 second battery life because the battery's gone. I mean, the battery's almost done for. This laptop came with Wi-Fi back in the day um, with Windows XP Professional, as you can see by that. Um, so it has this, which I have no idea what this is. Some sort of card. Oh, here's the RAM for 2 gigs. Here's the Wi-Fi card. Um... The hard drive is over here. It's an ATA, not SATA, so I can't really replace it with a newer one. It was 100 gigabytes, 7200 RPM. Let's see what the battery is. The battery is dying. Um, this thing, oh, before I flip it over, wait, here. If you're wondering what that port right here was for on the battery, that is a subwoofer. I believe it's at least five watts, if I'm correct. It's a pretty powerful subwoofer. It does not go very deep, but it is... It doesn't go deep, but it's powerful. 
So when you open it up, you see the two fan inlets, the shiny XPS logo, the volume, mute, and power button, the keyboard with the nub, I already showed all this. Um, you press this button to open it up, and the speakers are right here in the front. I think there's five speakers including the sub. And this thing takes a massive 150 watt charger. Um, it's from Dell. So, I mean, the thing probably weighs five pounds, just the charger. So now if I plug this in here. Let me get it. So now the charging light should turn on. Um, this thing had a microphone in it, so that's what that little dot is. And here's the screen detector button. That's what they used to use to detect if the screen was open or closed. Um, if I turn it on, this thing came with Windows XP Professional, but I loaded Windows 7 onto it, Windows 7 Home Premium. It is a surprisingly nice computer for its time. No idea how much it costs. I'm guessing it's in the multiple of thousands easily. As it's nicer than my XPS, um, in, no, not XPS, Dell Inspiron E1505. That's from, I think, 2008. And this thing's much nicer, and that old Inspiron was $1,000 much later. This computer, yes, it is slow, but what do you expect? It's a computer from 2002, and it's a laptop. Um, the screen is beautiful. You cannot tell right now, but um, it's not too colorful, but it just the amount of pixels is amazing. Um, as I said earlier, it has 256 megabytes of graphics memory. It's an ATI Radeon. I'll have to check what it is in a bit. This thing, because it's running Windows 7 and because of my modifications, it has a tendency to blue screen of death on me. So let's hope it doesn't do that. And let's, um, wakey wakey. The mouse is moving. Yeah. One second. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so now I type my password in. It's loading. Yeah, actually, everything is surprisingly small. Like you have that, and it's that big. If I turn on autofocus. Okay. Yes, it is. This thing, surprisingly, can run Portal 2 on lowest settings about 20 frames a second with, you know, lag spikes. But pushing 1080p, that's pretty cool. No, above 1080. Um, when I lower the settings to 640p, it can easily run at 30 frames a second. Oops, Windows is inactivated. Yeah. Um, it's slow. It's an old ATA hard drive. But, I mean, for the time, this ran Windows XP really, really well. Um, this thing is really well designed. Considering the weight, it's all metal. I took it apart. And pretty much this whole section right here and around here is all solid copper heat sink. Um, and fans to cool off the huge um, processor in here, which is about that big, pretty big. Um, so here's all my few programs. So let's see, is it loaded yet? Yeah. So if I right click on computer and go to properties, it's very slow, but I've seen Windows 7 run on lesser computers than this. So it has, um, what's the number? Retrieving rating. How long is that going to take? So 2 gigs, 32 bit. Um, oh, it's dual core 3.4 gigahertz. That's actually surprisingly good. Um, so what is the lowest thing? I'm guessing hard drive speed. I haven't checked this in a while. My bad. Um, processor, actually. Yeah, it's a 32 bit dual core Pentium 4. So, I'm not surprised, it's old. But, I mean, it's well above Windows 7's minimum of 1 GHz single core. Well above. It's 3.4 GHz dual core. So it's well, well above the um, minimum. Also, the minimum RAM for this operating system is 1 gig. this has 2. So this could run Windows 7. It also has enough resources to run Windows 8 really well. It just can't do that because it's missing a virtualization feature. Oh, you can... Here, if I unplug my headphones... 
you can probably hear the roaring of the fans. The fans are really, really loud. Um, normally as loud as a server room. Um, okay, so I got for graphics a 5.1. For this kind of computer, that's pretty good. From 2002, running on Windows 7. Um, Arrow is on, so I can do this. So if I try to open Chrome, let's see how long this takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now let's see. I think it's actually loaded. I was just counting over. Um, oh, no why? Oh yeah, it's never been programmed for this Wi-Fi. <laughs> that explains it. Come on. Oh, programs are still loading. Wow. Oh, the hard drive light, the middle one, is completely on. There is no Bluetooth in this computer. That is the one feature the original owners of this computer did not put in. Oh, by the way, interesting fact. We found this computer. It was being thrown away by somebody. We recovered it and looked at its specs and realized it could work as a backup computer in case our other ones died. And it works as a pretty good backup computer. Um, so yeah, someone was throwing this thing out. I understand. It's big. It's at least 15 to 20 pounds. It's bulky. It's slow. But it was locked down with a password. And... Oh, no. Not that. So it was locked down with a... Stop popping everything up. <laughs> so it was locked down with a... Um, business account so that we could not really um, use it. We had to wipe it. We tried to install Windows XP but none of the drivers because this was advanced for the time none of the drivers for this computer were in Windows XP but usually once an operating system is discontinued the next operating system adds all the drivers from the previous one so of the life of the previous one. So Windows 7 has all the drivers this needs right out of the box even though XP does not. So that's why we put Windows 7. Even though it's slower, it works for us. Okay, let's see how long this loads. Ugh, that didn't work. How about web elements, periodic table of the elements? Let's click the button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? Well, that didn't load correctly. Um, it'll probably fix it in a couple seconds. Yep. Okay. So let's say I want to load. Oh, come on. It's not done yet. See the loading icon? Oh, it's a theme. The icon's still spinning. Okay, so let's see how long this takes. One, two, three. Wait, no, I don't think I. Oh, yeah, I did. Whoa. So this screen is about this big, and the bar. Stop focusing, you horrible camera. It's about this much focused. Okay, it's focused. The bar is that small, but when you look really close, if I can get it to focus. It's very sharp. So for that size screen, the pixels are that focused. Really good screen. This computer